Hello friends, in this video we will do certain problems on the absolute cost advantage and the comparative cost advantage theories. They are super simple and not much of a math is involved in solving them. Let's look at our first problem. Korea can make 3 cars or 9 motorcycles in a day. Germany can produce 4 cars or 8 motorcycles in a day. Is there an absolute cost advantage? And calculate the comparative cost advantage for both the commodities. The first thing that we do when we are given with a problem like this is we put it into a schedule. This schedule tells us that Korea can produce 3 cars and 9 motorcycles in a given day and Germany can produce 4 cars and 8 motorcycles in a given day. Now let's ask this question first. Is there an absolute cost advantage to both the countries? You can clearly see that in a given day Germany can produce more cars than Korea which means Germany has an absolute cost advantage when it comes to producing cars whereas Korea has an absolute cost advantage when it comes to producing motorcycles. This is because it can produce more motorcycles than Germany in a given day. Hence the answer to our question will be both the countries do have an absolute cost advantage in producing either of the commodities. Now let's check if there is a comparative cost advantage. Let's say we try to understand if there is a comparative cost advantage when it comes to producing cars. The way we do it is by taking the ratio of motorcycles to cars for Korea first. Korea can produce 9 motorcycles in a given day or it can produce 3 cars in a particular given day. So the ratio here would be 9 is to 3. This gives us the answer 3. This 3 tells us that if Korea wishes to produce cars in the country then for every one car it produces it will have to forgo three motorcycles. In essence it's telling us that the opportunity cost of producing one car is three motorcycles and if you do the same thing for Germany then you would see that you get the ratio 8 is to 4 which gives you the answer 2. So the opportunity cost of producing one car in Germany is 2 motorcycles. You can clearly see that producing a car in Germany has a less opportunity cost than producing in Korea. Hence we will say that when it comes to cars, Germany has a comparative cost advantage. However, we have to check whether Korea has a comparative cost advantage when it comes to producing motorcycles. You can also find the comparative cost advantage for motorcycles. Here, we'll have a ratio of cars divided by motorcycles. It would be 3 divided by 9 for Korea and 4 divided by 8 for Germany. The ratio that we will have is 1 by 3 and half respectively. This tells us that for one motorcycle Korea will have to forgo one third of car and Germany for one motorcycle will have to forgo half car. And as you know half is greater than one third. That is why we will say that Korea has a lesser opportunity cost of producing motorcycles. Hence, 
Korea should only produce motorcycles. This also provides us the same results. It tells us that Korea should produce only motorcycles because it has a lesser opportunity cost for producing motorcycles whereas Germany should stick to producing cars. As both the countries have comparative cost advantage in different products, they should produce only those products in which they have a comparative cost advantage and trade with each other.